Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, switching over to this. This is a real treat today for me personally, because um, I've had a lovely journey with this film myself uh, in that I'm very good friends with the director of the, of the film, Husman Ferrari, who we'll uh, speak to in just a second. And it's been incredible to see the, the journey that this film has had and the connection that it's had with people and, and how important people feel that a conversation needs to be had around this film and what this film is raising issues about, very important issues. So please welcome along director of Brothers, Mr. Husman Ferrari. Hello, Hus. Hello. Hi, there. <laughs> um, and the two stars of this film, Jay Cargo, Jay, how how are you? I'm good, Edith. How are you? I'm very well, thanks very much. And Mike, now I've got this slight anxiousness about saying Michael's surname because just <laughs> before we came on, <laughs> who's pointed out that he's been getting Michael's surname wrong for the past 10 years. <laughs> so, uh, Michael, please can you tell who's how you actually pronounce your name? That's Michael Welkaya. There we go. See, we nailed it. <laughs> um, but you guys have known each other for a very long time. And there's a wonderful and beautiful friendship between the three of you that I've just, I've, well, I've seen on screen from the results of this film, but also just watching and seeing how you guys interact naturally in the real world is, is so beautiful to see. Um, Hus, if I can start with you and where did the, the story start for this film for you? Where did the idea of making this short come from? I've known Michael since he was in his early teens and he's in his mid twenties now. Um, he worked in, in my friend's restaurant. And um, even back then when we used to, I used to go in and we'd chat, he'd talk about his interest in drama and acting. And I kept an eye on his career and, um, you know, I saw him get into the drama college and whatnot. And it wasn't until a couple of years ago, my girlfriend met him and said to me, you know, that's, one charismatic kid and you need to do something with him before he's too big a deal to work with <laughs> uh, and, you know that it's that thing of sometimes you can't see the obvious in front of you you know yeah. here i am a director and here's this guy who's a, a up-and-coming actor but i'd never really put two and two together so i started go seeing him in uh, plays and in various productions at his drama college and that's where I first saw Jay perform, as they were both at the same drama college. And I found out that Jay was actually Michael's housemate and, and his very dear friend. So myself and Michael, we end up going for a coffee. During this chat that, that Michael told me about his relationship with his older brother, Danny, and, and his brother's struggles with, with his mental health mm. and having been in and out of hospital with, with these issues, um, and it was really super powerful stuff and, and obviously deeply personal to, to Michael. Um, and I was really moved by it, uh, you know, not, not only how, how we spoke about it, you know, with such clarity, but also with such, such compassion. So I, I, I kind of honed in, I suppose, on the fact that I, I would really quite like to tell a story surrounding Michael's relationship with his brother. I was really hesitant to approach Michael about it. I, even though I was clear what I wanted to do, I, mm. I, I really didn't know how he would feel about making a film which was based on his true life experiences. And um, you, because it's so personal, you know, and I was really nervous. And, and when, I, when I met up with him the next time and said, look, this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to do something based around your, your experiences with your brother and, and around the subject of mental health do it about two best friends mm. i mean michael just said straight uh, yes straight away because uh, i mean i think i think michael said something like i think it's really important people understand what it's like to to have a mentally ill uh, family member and and you know everything that surrounds that and um yeah it, it all went from there really michael what made you kind of feel that it's i guess that having the the trust in who's to to tell the story, but but feeling confident and I guess safe enough to to be able to share this with him and, and uh, allow him to tell the story. It was a no brainer, really. When I was, I was the, the the very fact that I was so articulate about exactly what I was going through was the biggest indication that I could trust him to tell this story and uh, his sort of empathetic understanding of where I was at. Because at the time I was training, I was in my final year. And simultaneously, Daniel was in hospital for maybe the sixth or seventh time, having been mm. sectioned again. So 
I mean, the only medium I had and the only thing I'd been working on is my craft and acting. And so it, it only made sense to be able to tell a story about it. Jay, for you taking on this role, you know, of, of, of Michael's brother um, and, and having an insight into their relationship and, and how Michael, you know, in a, in a real life situation was, was, was dealing and coping with, with, his, with his brother's situation, but knowing that you had to portray Daniel's, your character's, you know, experience, how did you sort of navigate that? And, and I guess in rehearsal, I guess that was part of the journey of working out, you know, his relationship with himself, but also his relationship with his brother talking to Michael before, I knew about Danny. I knew all of the crap that Mickey was going through um, with the situation and, and how sensitive and how important the story was. Uh, so when he kind of came forward to me about doing the film, I mean, I've got to be real, I just have so much love for Mickey. I was like, I have to do this and I have to do it in a way that is not gimmicky because of the situation, the, the conversations me and who's about it's like, it's very easy to make it gimmicky with yeah. someone that kind of suffers from mental health. What do those, what, what, do the, what do those rehearsals and that workshop environment allow you to explore? You know, I, what, what was this, I guess, what was the extent of the script and then going into that situation of, of what you ended up shooting? Well, I, I described the whole experience as a mathematical equation because there was a formula to it. We had no money, um, <laughs> like literally no money at all. Um, our location was the boys' student house. Um, yeah. From me saying to Michael, I'd love to do this, and him saying yes, we had three weeks in which we had to get it together because they were getting kicked out of their student house. Um, <laughs> the boys, as, as Jay said, both had you know, auditions they had to go to, jobs. Um, so we knew that on the day we had to wrap at four o'clock. So, you know, we shot this in less than a day. This is a short film, but there are so many brilliant things that come out of this through the performances and the relationship between you two. I wondered if you talked about that before shooting in terms of what you wanted the film to achieve on a bigger level, as opposed to just being this wonderful piece of entertainment. Yeah, I mean, you know, our, our aim was always to make a, a piece of drama, um, but it was very much based on real life events and, and Michael's real life experience. It's not a documentary, you know, uh, mm -hmm. where, where facts and figures need to be corroborated. Yeah. You know, I'm not an authority on the subject of mental health, but Michael, well, I don't know if authority is the right word for him, but he's he's gone through this, you know. Um, and so for me, you know, I, I had to have a lot of trust in, in what he wanted, where he wanted to go really with it. Um, you know, um, and, and that for me, ultimately to doing that justice was, was more important th than anything, you know, um, mm. and, and having, having a sense of humility about it and, and a sensitivity around it as well. And, you know, I, I know the boys agree with me, but even if one person watches this and thinks, OK, you know, I, I, could, I, I can have a conversation about this now, then I think our job's yeah. done. You know, forget the fact that it's, it's a drama, it's a short film and all that kind of stuff. It, if it opens up some debate and if it opens up some awareness, then, then that's amazing, I think, for all of us. Uh, I want to add to that as well, Hoos, because I remember when we were workshopping, we tried to do like these little mannerisms that Jace would potentially have. Yeah. And I remember we we do it for a bit in the improvs and just nothing was coming of it. And then once we just went strip it away and just be mm. in the moment, that's when it really came to play. And I think that's what kind of shows is just so important in the story. Michael, for you with the terms of, you know, this situation being so very close to your your story and, and your experience. How helpful would you have found this film had you watched it? And, you know, in terms of it being something that someone showed you and, and it not being a personal kind of, you know, you're not being as involved in it as you are. Extremely helpful, Enos, extremely helpful. And it, not only this film, 
is going to be helpful for anyone in a similar situation to which I was in, my family was in. But mm. what we have attached to this film in the association with Calm and all the resources that can now be shared with people who are experiencing a similar thing will be just eternally helpful for so many people, which is um, the thing I'm most proud of. Because if I had watched this film at that time, um, yeah, it would have been incredibly, incredibly helpful with me just being able to function, me just feeling okay with the yeah. fact that a family member or a friend is going through this thing and not feeling just swept up and lost by, by everything and, and the immense amount of guilt you feel by, you know, calling for help because you don't know whether or not that help is actually going to hinder them or help them. And this is where I'm at now with, with my understanding of, of, of the kind of system that we have in place to help people who are unwell. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's really hard and we need to be able to try and, uh, try and get more clarity on what the things are that, that need to happen when somebody is experiencing a kind of psychotic breakdown or just showing signs of not being who they, who they usually are without anybody panicking and doing something that ultimately leads to more trauma what I love about the film is this brilliant way that you encourage a conversation, whether that be you being the person who is going through the mental health situation or whether you are on the flip side, the person who is trying to help the person who's going through that situation. The connection with calm. It's wonderful to see uh, the arts and an organisation like that working together. You know, I think that... It's such a, a wonderful partnership. And how do you all feel about that? You must feel kind of really proud about what it's I mean, done and what it's kick-started, really. We, we made this film without anyone. Uh, we made it on our own. Having their name to the film is, is, is a dream come true, you know. And um, you, I think we're all thrilled about it. I think it gets it in front of an audience as well that otherwise it wouldn't have found. And, and it gives it more of a sense of purpose as well, yeah. rather than just being a short film, you know. You know, I think that the way that you've dealt with this subject and this relationship and shot it, and to hear how, how little support you had and how little time you had to do it, the, the outcome is just extraordinary. And you two, oh my God, I can't wait to see what happens next with, with you two, because what beautiful and brilliant talents you are and an absolute treat to get to watch you um, in this film. And Michael, thank you for being so honest as well with sharing your story and allowing it to be told on a, on a stage as well. And, and I think that so many people are gonna find so much help in this as well through the film, but also then through the attachment that the film has with Cam. So massive congratulations to, to you all. And thank you so much for your time today.